I'd like to take a moment to thank my channel members. Thank you. It's continued support like yours that keeps this channel growing. And if you haven't already, please consider joining today. Hello and welcome, I'm Bertha Stormtrooper and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generation 1 8 Face and Spasma and I love this toy. Originally released in 1987, it retailed for approximately $20 and this is a really, really neat figure that I recently came upon at a local toy show. Good price on it, I just absolutely had to get it. This is a very cool figure, one that I've never had before. But it, what, what's really neat about it is that you get a couple of things with this figure. You get a Headmaster, you also get a Triple Changer, and it's got a Jet Mode, an Ape Mode, and a Robot Mode. So it's also a beast. So a lot of really, really cool stuff that you get here with it. So starting out right here, we've got the Jet Mode. And this is just kind of like a futuristic Jet Mode, I guess. That's what... Uh, 1987 thought that's future space vehicles were going to look like, I guess. Um, and it's really neat. I really like it. I, I like the swept back, kind of like the backwards wings design. The whole jet up to about here, it, it looks really, really neat. It's almost Cyclonus-esque, if you will, right? Um, and that's something that you're going to hear a lot of people say is that from here forward, the vehicle looks great. And then on the back, admittedly, you got some junk back here. You got some... Uh, well, the eight feet and the robot arms are back here. It's actually not too terrible. The figure comes with a couple of accessories, one of which is this rifle, which you can mount back here, but it only came with one. It would be cool if it would have come with two. That would actually help a lot in hiding these robot arms. And I may get on eBay and get myself a second one of those because I think that's just going to make things look a little better and more symmetrical. Another uh, of the accessories that we got is this little kind of like the stabilizer wings back here. And of course, we've got Spasma, who is the headmaster, a.k.a. pilot at the moment. He's in there. We'll take a look at him in a moment. Jet mode is approximately nine and a half inches long. It's got a wingspan of about six inches, and it's about an inch and a half tall at the main fuselage, two inches if you go up here to the top of the stabilizers again. You got wheels on the bottom, so he actually rolls really, really nicely, and you can just kind of grab him and fly him around, and it's just a very cool, neat little figure to play with. The cut, oh, and it's real quick, take a look here. We do have a rub symbol, so let's test that out and see if it works. We'll give it a quick press, and sure enough, there you go. You can see that is a Decepticon right there, if this one down here hadn't already <laughs> given away that much. So the cockpit right here, we're going to open this up and we're going to pull out Spasma so you can see what he looks like. Let's get him straightened out. And he's probably not the best um, decorated or detailed figure, really. Um, it's a neat sculpt. I mean, he look, he's right on par with most headmasters. We've got ourselves a little chest right here in the, in the gray. We got the black arms. We got the purple legs right there. Um, he's got a really cool little head sculpt right in there. Unfortunately, there is no paint on the head sculpt, so he kind of gets lost. You got the two tabs here. This is what's going to activate the tech specs for the robot later. And unfortunately, because none of this is painted or decorated, the head kind of gets lost. And it's a shame because it's got a really, really cool head sculpt. Now, this Headmaster Spasma does, uh, he's got the normal articulation. So you've got the arms on the peg right here. So you can move these back and forth. Uh, you can move the legs together in a sitting position. The lower legs can move independent of each other, but because the knees are joined, there's not a really whole lot you can do there. But you can also bend them there. So you can give them different little sitting positions. And as you saw, he fits quite nicely into the cockpit right there. Now, he does something very neat in that when you turn him into head mode, he's got actually two heads. So we've got the robot head right there and then if you turn them around we have an eight head right there so both of his modes are going to be headmaster modes which is really really neat so let me bring the camera up just a little bit and we'll get right into transformation we'll close up the cockpit we're going to remove this wing piece back here we'll set that off to the side and we're going to remove this weapon right here and set that off to the side start with the nose cone right here actually start with the wings we're going to fold these in 
fold the nose cones down, nose cone down, and then we're gonna take the whole front of the jet right here on this hinge, and we're gonna unclip it from that piece right there and bring it all the way up and just have it hold there. I may need to bring the camera up some more. Now, we're gonna come down here to these little pieces. We're gonna fold these down. These are gonna be the ape feet, and these you can move in a couple of different ways. I'll show you those here in a moment. I'm just gonna kinda bring those back this way, and I like to take the robot arms and just kinda angle them back to kinda help hide them a little more. Come up here, and this little tab right here, just kinda flip that out, and then reach in here to pull out his little claw. Little, the ape has kind of like these claws rather than hands. We're just going to pull those out. Okay. And then we're going to bring in our headmaster spasma right here. And this rail right here is going to clip into that clip right there. And there we have ape face in his ape mode. And you got to kind of play with him a little bit to kind of get him to stand here. There you go. So the ape mode is approximately, well... If you stand him straight with the arms all the way up like this, and if you're standing with the legs straight, he's approximately six inches tall at the top of the head here, about eight or nine at the top of the hands, uh, depending on how you pose him. So he can get rather big right there. And articulation wise, unfortunately, the head's not gonna move around much, but the arms can move forward and backwards all the way around. Same thing with the elbows. You can kind of move these up and down. And his little hook hands, you can move those up and down some. And of course, the legs, you can move these at the thigh. You can move them at the mid leg slash knee and also up and down at the ankle. So again, this is all going to help with uh, posability, how you want to pose them and whatnot. Um, most of the time, you're going to kind of want them standing because unfortunately, the head does not have any articulation. And while it's really cool to give them the classic gorilla pose like that, Unfortunately, the downside to that is that he's going to be looking straight down. So unless there's some like a victim down here looking up at him in terror, it's not really going to work that well, unfortunately. Uh, but it's a pretty cool looking ape mode, if you ask me. Now, I skipped comparisons with the vehicle uh, because really what I wanted to bring in for comparison was something a little more in line here. So here we have a, this, uh, a fellow... Decepticon headmaster that also turns into a beast. Uh, mind wipe right here so you can see what the two of them look like together. And if you're familiar with this figure, you can tell this guy is quite big. So he looks really, really nice right there. Now transforming him, transforming him into robot mode, we'll go ahead and pull the head out. And we don't really have to do anything with this other than just set it aside. Take the gorilla arms right here, the little claws, flip those back in and flip these in. Same thing here. Flip the little claws in, flip the arms in. And then we're gonna take these pieces and just kind of flip them up this way. Bring the legs here, what was the legs, straighten them out, bend this at the knees, and then bring the little feet back up again to kind of form these little shoulder pauldrons here. Rotate the arm and extend. And then I absolutely love the legs right here. These are going to just come forward and extend this way, just like that. And we are ready for our headmaster. So we'll open up our chest compartment right here. And again, we had this ape right here. We're going to turn him around. There's our robot head right there. We're going to pop this guy in. And there's our tech specs right there. So we got a above average speed, a very high strength, and an average intelligence right there so you can see that and there you go there is eight face in robot mode just kind of going all the way around he does have about I, I don't know that i want to call that a backpack patriot prime called this a fanny pack and i i, I can't say that i disagree with that uh because it's kind of hanging off his butt uh, so he's got that <laughs> right there but there you go so you can see what he looks like in robot mode now um shout out to patriot prime right here so there is a very common issue with this figure where this backpack just won't stay up here the way this one is you'll notice this one's kind of nice and springy it stays up there that was not the case when i got this figure patriot prime mentioned in his video how to fix that I followed those instructions and i was able to fix mine too it's actually really really simple so what you're looking for is this clip right here and I don't know if it's going to, sh it's probably not gonna show on camera. There's a little screw right in there that holds this clip down. 
uh, and that screw gets loose. And if you look through the little holes right here, you may be able to see the screw right there. So the way you get to that screw is you're gonna take and you're gonna pop this pin out right here so you can remove the entire front section of the jet. Once you do that, take out these three screws and, and separate the black bottom half from the white bottom uh, top half right there. You'll be able to see the screw that's holding this clip in place, tighten it. That's it, put the figure back together. Once you do that, holds, holds the butt flap <laughs> right in place very, very nicely. So getting into articulation for eight face, the arms can move forward and backwards all the way around, legs can kick forward that far, and you can bend at the knees. So he's got less articulation in robot mode than he did in ape mode. But bringing in his accessories, we have the uh, stabilizer fins right here. These can be used as a shield. You can have him hold them in his hand, or you can actually peg them right here on his shoulder. And that actually looks really, really nice right there. And then you can also give him his weapon. And there you go, eight phase ready for battle. Quick comparisons, one more time. Here he is with Mind Wipe. So you can see what the two of them look like together. You can see he kind of fell back on me there. He can be a little back heavy because of that backpack right there. So you just kind of got to play with him a little bit and just kind of get him posed and balanced just right. But there you go, there he is with Mind Wipe. So you can see what the two of them look like together. And again, very nice figure here. Um, the robot stands approximately seven inches tall at the top of the head so very very nice size figure right here and of course i always have him here in case one of my 3d prints failed here he is with generation one optimus prime so you can see what the two of them look like together so yeah this is a really neat figure one that again i just happened upon it at my local toy show this past weekend it's one that i didn't have he was complete he had an okay price on it I, i'm not gonna say he was dirt cheap there's some other figures that I got dirt cheap that I'll be reviewing soon, but uh, this one, not dirt cheap, but also not super expensive. It was affordable enough and he was complete. So that was kind of the main thing is that when I saw that he was complete, you want to make sure that you get the headmaster. Obviously, you want to make sure you get the, the rifle there, but you also want to make sure you get these stabilizers. Without these stabilizers or the shield, rather, you're not going to get the rear stabilizers and you're not going to get a complete jet mode. So you want to make sure you get that with this figure so i think that about covers for the transformers generation one headmaster horror con triple changer beast former etc eight face absolutely awesome figure what did you think of this figure let me know down in the comments give me some thumbs up subscribe share with your friends if you like what you see as always thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you next time